Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. Today we have a pretty outstanding vehicle to present to you. It's a Hankster Certified Unit. So for those of you that have seen the movie Ford vs. Ferrari, uh, that's a pretty iconic time in our history as far as cars are concerned. You know, with Henry Ford and uh, Carroll Shelby and what they did at Le Mans and you know, the Ford Mustang uh, is really kind of an iconic vehicle in uh, not only in our, our American history, but also in the, in the muscle car uh, business, platform, hobby, whatever. Today we have a 1965 Mustang Fastback with a 289, a period correct 289. Uh, really an outstanding car, so let's check it out. <clears throat> 289 on the air cleaner, because that's the uh, size of the motor that's in the engine compartment. Uh, chrome valve covers, chrome air cleaner, uh, this car is not equipped with power steering, although if you would like power steering or rack and pinion steering, we can certainly accommodate you there at Hangster's Garage. It does have power brakes. Uh, it's going to be disc up front and it's going to be drum in the rear. Probably one of the most desirable color combinations in this business, red. White stripes, red interior, center console, automatic car. So um, let's get started, I guess, with the paint up top here. On the top of the fenders, the hood, real nice paint. The stripes on the car that you'll see on the hood, the roof, and then the deck lid when we get there are vinyl. Ford badge across the front here looks to be in great shape. Your chrome uh, Mustang there in the center of the grill in nice condition. And so is the front bumper. You can see around your bumper bolts, there is no rusting, no pitting, no chrome flake, any of that going on. So real nice looking car up front. Continuing around the side, a couple things. First of all, the 289 badge on the front fender there on the driver's side, it's gonna be the same on the passenger. And then there's a Mustang 2 plus 2 badge that you'll see on both fenders as well. Uh, your Mustang rally wheels are in good shape. You got the uh, red pony center caps. Uh, the chrome lug nuts, chrome wheel, and then of course uh, topped off with the Cooper raised white letter tires which always look fantastic on any muscle car. The front windshield, glass clarity is real good. Uh, you can see through the uh, glass to your dash. The dash is not uh, cracked up or uh, sun faded or warped in any capacity. Got a nice uh, red grill there in the center, but that's not broken. Your uh, roof, before we continue down the side of the car, once again, the stripes here are vinyl. Uh, the paint up on the roof, no blisters, cracks, clear coat fade, anything like that going on. The uh, paint condition up there is really nice. No history on this car. I don't know when this paint was put on. My guess would be it's in the five to 10 year range, um, but it's very nice uh, throughout the entire uh, car. Before we get into the uh, interior, let's first look at our glass clarity, your vent window glass, driver door glass, uh, both in real nice shape. Going down a little further on the car, obviously your driver door, uh, the fitment is real nice. And then a couple things here. First of all, um, the paint condition, real nice slick paint on the car, no uh, issues down here at the bottom of the door. And then you got the vinyl stripe that starts on the front fender, continues on the door and then onto the rear quarter. That is real nice, not peeling off, not cracked up, not faded. So that's in great condition as well. Let's take a look in the interior of the vehicle. Start out with the driver's side door panel. Uh, so the door itself, this portion is painted red. It's in real nice shape. The door panel itself is red, the chrome's in nice condition, the armrest is not ripped, your chrome quality on your uh, door pull and on your window crank, both are in real nice shape. Take a look in the back of the car here. Uh, the back seats, you know, in our Mustangs, Camaros, whatnot, they're usually in really nice shape because nobody ever sits back there because nobody can fit except for young children and maybe very small women. <laughs> not too many guys getting back there. Um, the seat back on the car, real nice condition. All your vinyl in the vehicle, real nice shape, not ripped or torn. I mentioned earlier in the presentation, it's a center console car with an automatic in the floor. Carpeting in the vehicle is brand new. We put it in. The other carpeting was a little sun faded, so we put in brand new carpeting. 
Uh, also a brand new steering wheel on the car. The uh, steering wheel that was on the car had a few cracks in it, so a really high-end wood grain uh, Mustang steering wheel on this vehicle right now. Let's take a look at the rear quarter. We'll start up high here where the roof meets the uh, rear quarter, that transition. Uh, real nice paint, no cracks or chips. Uh, top of the quarter here, no paint issues. How about low on the quarter where there's a lot of problems on classic cars, old cars, behind the wheel, around the wheel, in front of the wheel. Uh, real nice condition of the paint uh, throughout. Also the body lines on the car are good. Notice how the door fits nice and flush to your rear quarter and nice and flush to your front fender and the body line, look at the body line here, see how nice and straight it is from the uh, fender to the door to the quarter? That's how it's supposed to look. Let's jump up to the uh, rear windshield, rear window area. Uh, very nice quality there. Uh, very, very, very minimal scratching or anything like that. It looks uh, fairly, if it's not new, it's definitely in, in de decent condition given the age. I mean, I doubt it's the original window glass in the, in the car simply because it's in outstanding shape, but you know, I have no proof to support that one way or the other. Uh, the white vinyl stripes on the deck lid are in great shape. They continue on to the rear of the car, down low there too. Uh, on either side, directly outside of your uh, white vinyl striping is first your uh, dual exhaust and then your reverse lights. By the way, you know those chrome bezels that always pit up on the Mustangs? These ones are not. They're in really good condition, both driver and passenger side. And the chrome on the rear bumper is just as nice as the front. Chrome on this car is fantastic. Trunk. Holy cow, a full size spare. Might want to check the date on that, baby, if you plan on using it. We do not check that. Um, it's got a jack in here. It all matches the spare cover, the jack uh, pouch, and then your trunk mat. And then underneath the trunk mat is your trunk area there. That's nice and solid. And then uh, somebody did cover the gas tank in like a, uh, I don't know, I mean, I could peel it up, but it's a gas tank. It's not, le not leaking and not rusted. But uh, there's like a, uh, like a dynamat or a sound deadening there. Um, it's real thin, but uh, real nice uh, trunk presentation. How about the passenger side of the vehicle? Um, you know, it's about the same as your drivers. Hopefully this angle gives you a good <clears throat> perspective of the quality of this car, uh, the door fitment, the uh, you know rear quarter, passenger side door, driver door, front fender. It's all, you know, there's no waves down the side. Once again, your body lines line up nicely throughout the entire car, both sides of the vehicle. Uh, there are no paint blisters or bubbles or cracks, anything going on down low on the quarter here, around your wheel opening, underneath your vinyl striping. It's all in real nice condition. This is a fantastic looking car. Also, from what I can see, the chrome uh, clarity on the wheels, real nice shape. I don't see any rusting of the lug nuts, any pitting in the chrome on the wheel, but uh, Blow those up real big on the website. You can take a look at those because we take nice, close, still photos of those wheels for you. Let's check out the uh, passenger side of the car. The door panel, much the same uh, as it was on the driver's side. The panel's real nice. The paint's real nice. Your chrome on your door pull and your window cranks are real nice. There's no rips, tears, discolorations, uh, funkiness going on with the, the vinyl there. It's got uh, black seat belts up front. The center console's in nice shape. This is a nice car. Let's close our passenger side door and show you the last little bit of the vehicle here, which is your passenger side front fender. There's that Mustang 2 Plus 2 badge. It was just like it was on the driver's side. Those are in nice shape. 289 logo. <clears throat> There's no pain issues on this car in terms of uh, blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that. You know, I didn't cover every last inch of the paint, but the paint job 
if you ask my personal opinion, is a probably an eight out of 10. You know, like I, I made the statement earlier, it appears to me like it's, you know, it's definitely not a paint job that was done in the last two or three years, uh, but it's definitely not a paint job that's 25 years old. Um, if I had any history on the car, you know, when the motor was rebuilt, when the training was rebuilt, when the car was painted, when the interior was done, I'd certainly share that with you. Some cars we get it, some cars we don't. In this particular car, we just do not have it. <clears throat> Let's put this uh, fine 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we'll take it on a drive. Before we do that, I want to encourage all of you, do not buy these cars sight unseen. We are dealing in 30, 40, 50 year old cars. I'm around these cars every day. I know what they drive like, stop like, feel like. I know their quirks, how to start them, how to, you know, when to put gas in them, how to put gas in them, uh, so on and so on, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but you may not be as familiar and that's fine. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good investment. Most of these classic cars, you know, you can't really buy anything anything much at all for any, under twenty thousand dollars so and most of them to buy a decent car you're talking forty thousand dollars plus you know so uh, with that being said it's a pretty significant investment so you should probably come check it out for yourself and not just take my word for it we will gladly pull the vehicle outside for you you can check out the paint out in the sunshine real good you can check out the interior we'll let you open up the hood open up the trunk we'll gladly put it in the air for you you can check out the undercarriage the floor pans suspension components Tire condition, bottom of the motor, bottom of the transmission. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car accelerates, steers, stops, handles, rides. This way when the car arrives to you, there are zero surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. Now, we are very fortunate here in 2024 to be having an outstanding month. Uh, we've uh, sold over 30 cars this month and uh, guess what? I've met, I think, two, maybe three buyers face-to-face. -face. So it is not out of the realm of normalcy for people to continue to wire us money and finance these vehicles without ever coming to see them. Because we've been in business so long, we take 80 photos, 100 photos of every single car. We do a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. We offer a powertrain warranty. I mean, I'm not sure what else we can do to stand behind our product and, you know, other than to encourage you to come in person, to back it up with a warranty at full retail price, to take as many photos as our website can possibly hold, to do a 20, 25, even maybe 30 minute video presentation where I drone on like this. Um, but again, all kidding aside, I encourage you to come in person but we saw a lot of cars sign unseen, made a lot of people happy. But if you're a more specific or particular buyer, please don't pull the trigger until you check the car out for yourself. Let's put our 65 Mustang up in the air. We'll check out the undercarriage, then we'll go drive it. It's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. Underneath our 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback, 289, period correct, 289. Uh, let's start with the front seal. We'll follow that up with the oil pan gasket, driver's side and passenger side. There is nothing that I can see leaking at this time. Moving back to the transmission. Tiny little transmission pan on this car. Everything looks to be in good order at this time. Let's check the uh, tail shaft seal. Your tail shaft seal's dry. Let's move to our uh, frame rail torque box area. So uh, the car is suspended in the air with our lifts sitting on the frame rails. Uh, they're in good shape. Uh, the floor pans are excellent, both sides, driver and passenger. We'll start with the driver's side pan, all one solid piece, no uh, sections, no um, silicone, no patchwork. So that's a good thing. Both driver and passenger floor pans in the vehicle are extremely nice. They look like newer pans. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, exhaust manifolds here going down to a dual set of pipes. It's gonna be like a cherry bomb set up in the uh, back there. There's not really a muffler per se. Uh, the car has a real good sound to it. Uh, the pipes are in great condition. There's no rust holes, rot holes, pin holes, anything like that going on. Uh, continuing a little further back now, we do have uh, drum brakes in the rear of this car. Gas tank appears to be newer, in my opinion. 
do have a set of dual chrome tips that we showed you earlier in the walk around presentation. Uh, the Cooper Cobras are in good shape. Uh, they are uh, from 2020. Plenty of tread till uh, the wear bars are hit and then no dry rotting or cracking between your treads there. So they're not dry rotted, they're not old. Uh, plenty of life on the uh, sneakers. Pretty fantastic looking car. We're gonna set it down on the ground now and we're gonna go drive it. But before we do that, let's talk about how to pay for this thing. If you're a cash buyer, it's pretty simple. Bank wire transfer or cashier's check from your bank. <clears throat> if you're financing, that's easy too. We do have a few different collector car lenders we work with that will do up to a 15 year loan on our collector classic cars. Five years is the minimum, 15 years is the maximum. Now your approval is gonna be based on your credit score, your debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, thing like, things like that. If your debt to income is a little higher or your score is a little lower, they're gonna require 15, possibly even 20% down. They're gonna require at least 10% no matter what your score is. If you're 850 million and walk on water and never missed a payment in your life, you're still gonna have to come 10% out of pocket, which means if it's a $50,000 car, you're coming five grand, $5,000 down. You can do more if you'd like to, but again, that's gonna be your minimum. It's a simple interest loan where any additional payments or any additional you know, monthly payment, uh, yearly payment, they go directly towards principal of the loan. They do not go towards interest. And there's no prepayment penalty. So a lot of people you know, they buy from us, maybe they have the ability to pay cash, uh, but their money is better sitting somewhere else at that particular moment. So they pay it off in six months, 12 months, 18 months, whatever the case may be. And there's no prepayment penalty for doing so. You can borrow a pretty significant amount of money on a short term without getting penalized for uh, paying it off early. So that's kind of cool. Once the vehicle is funded, it goes through a pre-delivery inspection. Uh, the process is, you know, check lug nut torque, tire pressure, make sure the reverse lights work, brake lights work, wipers work, horn works. They're old cars. Anything can start leaking, anything can stop working at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading in your direction. Once it's through inspection and the guys give it the green light, we go ahead and detail it and then a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, if you're in a more difficult destination, you're rural, you're on the West Coast, whatever the circumstance, please allow us four, five, six business days. But I promise you, we move quickly. We do this a couple times a month. Uh, the process is inspection, detail, dispatch, gone. So um, we do get a carrier here. We know you're excited to get your ride. We're excited we got you as a customer. Uh, so we will get your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. Let's set our 65 Mustang fast back down on the ground and see how it runs. Inside our 65 Mustang, horn. Fuel gauge works. 50,000 miles on the odometer. Title reads exempt, true miles unknown. Temp gauge does work. We will uh, show you that in test drive. We have uh, oil pressure and battery voltage. Wipers. Turn signal indicator is the same for the driver's side and passenger side, so there's your driver's side. And listen for the click here. Passenger side, they both work. They work in the uh, exterior too in the rear. Uh, radio. The radio works. doesn't sound that bad either. Uh, yeah, headliner's in great shape. Center console's in great shape. Steering wheel's brand new. Great car, let's drive it. Well, the car tracks nice and straight. The steering's nice and tight. Zero vibrations, shimmy, shakes, engine vibration, tranny vibration, speedos working. Car has a cool sound to it. I can't hear it right now. You can hear it when we 
when we first accelerate, you can hear it's kind of cool. But real nice, smooth ride. Steering wheel's not shaking them, bouncing all around. No tire vibration up front. Car stops nice and smooth. We'll show you that here shortly. Good car. Good looking car too. Red with white stripes, 65 fastback. Please. Brakes. Nice and smooth, no pulsation or vibration whatsoever. You don't have to stand on the pedal. Real nice smooth stop. Let's run it through a few gears. There's 65, I'm catching up to traffic. I don't know if you guys heard it shift in the video or not, but the car shifts fantastic. It's a nice, smooth shift, boom, boom, just where it should. Real nice, smooth ride. Nineteen sixty-five Ford Mustang Fastback. I like it. This is a good car. Red, white stripes, brand new steering wheel, power brakes, 289, period correct 289. Very desirable color combination, automatic, so the wife can drive it too. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website, it's where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right now. At full retail price, our 65 Mustang includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. Listen to that. Nice, smooth, quiet, idle. No popping, no sputtering, no keeping my foot on the gas to keep the car running. It's a good car. At full retail price, it includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on it. Thank you. See? Told you. Oh, uh, okay. Nothing like a distraction. All right, full retail price, yep. Okay, includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier, and it also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASD certified facility in the United States. It covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. So, if the oil pan gasket starts leaking, don't call me and say, I have an oil leak, I need to use my warranty, because that's not covered. Starters are not covered, batteries are not covered, brakes are not covered, radiators are not covered. It's internal components of the drivetrain. So your engine, your transmission, and rear end. If any of those need to be rebuilt or they need to be opened up and investigated upon, that will be covered for you. Is the price of the car negotiable? Within reason, it most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There's no exceptions to that, so you don't have to bother asking that question. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money and it takes time to ship cars, especially as many as we do. We ship over 30 a month incoming and outgoing, you know, so there's a lot of logistics to this. Um, you got to reach out to the driver, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured to carry your vehicle. You have to set up the pickup at our showroom. You have to arrange the delivery at your home or business. You have to pay the driver. You have to track the progress of the shipment. And a negotiated cost, you can take care of that legwork on your own. Also, if you have your own carrier, either somebody you used in the past that you've had a good experience with, or your own trailer, you're more than welcome to trailer this car home. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can certainly drive this 65 Mustang Fastback home. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, and our website is hangsters.com. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Check us out.